The Wire. That's it, folks. Warrington, the rugby league team. We've not done rugby league for a while, but we're kicking off again in the next two or three weeks now. And I thought I'd share one today for those fans of rugby league, but more importantly, the mighty Wire. I read something earlier today on the News Now website from George. That's George Williams. And he says, this player is going to be massive next year. He's going to have his big season, his breakout season. I thought, oh, who's he on about? Thought to myself, I hope, honestly, this is the truth. I thought to myself, I hope he's talking about Conor Rench, but thought, no, he's probably not going to be. Conor Rench seems to be on the periphery of the team. I know he's had a bad injury. I know he's just come back. For me, he should play week in, week out and be on the opposite wing to Ashton because they've both got absolutely searing pace. And I feel when they get away, put away, they're never going to get caught. His preferred position is centre rather than winger. And the lad that plays outside him, when he does play centre, is it Thulis? He's pretty good. But I think Wrench is the next step up speed-wise. Anyway, Thulis is quick. I think Wrench is quicker. I think he's a right speedster. Our big problem at the wire over the last God knows how many years is we've not had second rowers and centres playing in sync and playing well enough to get our wingers away. I've said it till I'm blue in the face. The art of rugby league, if you've got real speed on the flanks, is to get them early ball so they can run. Or ideally, create an overlap, bypass the oppo opposing centre, put your winger away, broke clear field, no one will catch them, they score tries. We don't do it often enough. In fact, we hardly ever do it. Hopefully, the new coach, the new roster, maybe they're going to look at it. One of our problems has been at half-back because we've had one function in half-back who's brilliant, who everybody's doubling and trebling up on because the other half-back that's played with him has done nothing for the last 12 months or so. So it's an effectual old drink water, so they've been doubling up on Williams. But anyway, I read this piece and he's on about a player and I don't know who it is, but I'm hoping it's Wrench. And as I'm scrolling down, Connor Wrench, I thought, fantastic. He's on the same page as me. He said, this year, I think Wrench is going to be fantastic. He said, he's playing on my side of the field, so he's the next one down the line from myself. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, George is saying there that he wants Wrench in week in, week out on his side of the field because he rates him. And I'm thinking, well... Burgess isn't going to pick somebody just because George says it. That said, if George isn't the best player in the world, he's certainly one of them. He's going to listen to his halfback, I would have thought. And if Williams is saying he feels he should be playing and he feels he'll, he'll strike up a great relationship with him, I'm thinking, let's hope it comes off. Let's hope Wrench is playing there because I want Wrench in. There was a piece yesterday or day before on the Warrington Wolves website about King, who's just come back from that there wigging. And he's saying he never thought he'd be coming back, but he's glad he is. It's a new place, it's this, it's that. And I'm thinking... I've already said it before, I'm not so sure I want King or Ratchford as my centres. Ratchford may be a bit over the hill, not bad as a sub as a utility player or when players are injured and his goal kicking is great, but sub for me and King for me just isn't good enough, you know. At Wigan recently they've had King and Wardle, Wardle's by far the better player for me, we lost out on him. I was speaking to a Wiganer only the other day, a Wigan fan, he was on about King and I said he's just not good enough, I said for me now he's a one trick pony, I said he can never put his winger away. He's very selfish, he never looks for the overlap, he's always cutting inside, all he's got in his game for my money is catching the high ball over the line and plonking it down, he's brilliant at that. The halfback kicks the ball over the line, he's brilliant at collecting and scoring, that is great at, but not much else. The Wiganer said in his defence is shocking. I said, well I don't know that it's that bad, but I'm reading he's had a great year last year. I said, your club did, Wigan. I'm not sure he was great. The times I've seen him on Sky Sports, he's not stood out in it at all. I said, Wardle stands out every week. For me, Wardle's far superior. And this guy said, oh yeah, he's chalk and cheese. Wardle's got everything. King is a bit limited. So I'm thinking, are they going to start playing him because they brought him back here? I want to see this Roderick Ty. If this tie's only half all right, for me, he gets in and wrench on the other side. Ty and Ashton, wrench and maybe foolish. I'd look forward to that. Especially if wrench is, wrench is playing inside old George. If George Williams thinks Wrench is going to make it really big this year, I mean, he saw, he's saying, I think it'll be his breakout year. And he said, I think he's an England centre. He said, I think he's that good. I think he's an England centre. He just doesn't realise yet how good he is. And when he realises it, he's going to really take off. Well, I hope he takes off down here at the Halliwell. And I hope we have him for many a year, because I like the boy. I like him a lot. So anyway, I read that today and I thought, that'll do for me. Get old Roderick in one centre. Get Wrench in the other one and then teach someone to kick goals. And we're away. We've got a chance then. So, let's see if George is right. That, if it was me, I'd take the old George form, but I'd let George do it. If George says Conor Wrench should be in and he's going to make a world beater, that'll do for me. I hope slamming Sam. I hope Sam's listening. I hope you're listening to what your halfback's saying there, Sam. 
If he wants to play with Rench, let him. That's what I say, let him. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to the new season. You, you might have already guessed. You have guessed. You can tell by the way I'm talking. I am. I'm looking forward to it. Why I pulled this down here, I don't know. I shouldn't have done that, folks, but I've done it anyway. Let's knock it off now. That, that'll do it for me.